So, when I sat down to write the record, Holloway Be Thy Name, uh, I really was just thinking about what would be the most glorifying to God, what would please Him the most, and what's more pleasing to Him than His children. I should probably warm up. You, 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 you. What am I doing? Me, 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 I'm also... So I just want to write this whole record about songs about me, how special I am, how awesome I am at playing guitar, at singing, at just generally being an amazing person. Um, you know, it says in the Bible to love your neighbor as yourself, and to me that what that scripture really means is to love yourself as much as you possibly can. And that's really the message that I'm trying to portray in this album. Um, I hope when you're cruising down the street and you're listening to this, you realize how awesome that I am as well. And that you can sing along to these tunes, lift your hands, and that God will be so pleased by this. off of this record is it's called uh, I Exalt Me um, no relation to any other song that you've heard with a similar title wrote that originally myself um, it's on the radio it's on iTunes it's on Spotify it's on all the places where you can get music and that is the message the core of this album I exalt me because I love him you know what I'm saying I exalt me I'm a good, good father to who I am Okay, so people come up to me and ask me all the time, what was my inspiration behind writing these songs? Am I just that talented of a writer or do I kind of pull from ver various areas? Because the lyrics were so amazing. I wrote this one song, it's called Ryan Goes On. And this was kind of the basis um, for that song. And in Corinthians it talks about love. And so I kind of think I'm a very loving person. So instead of love, I just like to put Ryan in there. So let me kind of read it in this context. Ryan is patient and kind. Ryan does not envy or boast. Ryan is not arrogant or rude. Ryan does not insist on his own way. He is not irritable or resentful, and he does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but Ryan rejoices in the truth. Ryan loves and bears all things. He believes all things, and Ryan hopes all things. Ryan never ends. think if tonight during worship someone next to you changed all the words of the songs to worship themselves? I don't know what you would do. Would you just bust out into laughter? I mean, it's, it's kind of ridiculous thinking about worshiping ourselves, and yet sometimes that's exactly what we do. We may not change the words of songs or vocalize how we feel about ourselves, but have you ever spent an entire song just focusing on how good you sound in your singing? Just, just focusing on the way you sing? Meanwhile, totally missing it. Missing the whole purpose of why we're singing in the first place or who we are singing to. And maybe that's not you, uh, but I think to one degree or another, 
we're all a little bit off in our understanding of worship. What is worship? Is it the music or an experience? Why do we even do this thing? Is it to feel good about ourselves? Um, what about our, our, our impact or what impact it has on our relationship uh, with God? Does it, does, what does worship do to us? Um, let's do ourselves a favor tonight and discuss some of these things. You might be surprised what God's word has to say about the matter. So before I leave, I just want to leave you guys with one lasting thought. Ryan is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes, I can't do that part, it's too bad. <laughs>